Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another No Money Spin video. Today, we're gonna be diving into what we can start grinding and playing to get more XP for the featured program and some of the other side programs as well, as well as achieving some of the free packs and goodies and stubs, XP, all that good stuff that MLB The Show has packed into the game for us to just play and grind 99, baby. So we're gonna take a gander at this. If you enjoy No Money Spent series videos, let me know, leave a like on the video. It helps me a ton and defeat the YouTube algorithm by commenting down below. Let me know how your journey is going with No Money Spent, or maybe you're packing stuff. Maybe you're buying a bunch of packs. Did you pack anything cool? I read all the comments, so make sure you leave me one down below. Now, taking a look at the program, featured program, every single day that you come on, you should be checking the daily moments tab. Now, now, because the game is still in pre-release and the official release is April 5th, the daily moment hasn't changed, but this will change every day. So make sure that you're doing this every single day. Free XP, and I mean, again, you're getting the sticks going. The other thing I noticed here was the collections tab. I wanted to see what it was, see if maybe I had already had enough things to collect and, and, and lock in so I get more XP. This is gonna give you 10,000 experiences you can see right above my head. All you have to do is collect Babe Ruth's gold card, this all-star card. Now, you might be going, how do I get it? You're gonna back out of there and you're gonna go to other programs. You're gonna see there's the starter program, Babe Ruth. So this is gonna earn you a free gold out of the gate, Babe Ruth. And I mean, honestly, not very bad. I'm just saying, I mean, he's got 77, 86 pop, solid enough contact, 84, 69. Defensively, he's a toad, but like, hey, when you're hitting bombs, do you care if you're fielding ground balls? Not I. But we're going to unlock this card. The way to do that is you have to get 40 stars for this program. Now, there are moments you can do, but as you can see, you get two, six, two, two. Yeah, so you're only going to get about 15. It looks like, is my math right? 15 stars. Yeah, that's right. I went to public schools. Math's hard. We can get 15 stars for this right here by completing the moments. As you can see, 15 is not 40. So we're going to kill two birds, one stone. We're going to take a look at the missions tab here. You're going to see that getting player XP, which means using cards and getting hits, innings pitched, innings played, uh, place of, uh, played appearances, steals, anything, building up player XP on a card will get you two stars here. So we're going to keep that in mind. Tallying five hits will get us two stars. Extra base hits, two of those will get us two. A home run will give us three. Getting a th uh, five strikeouts will give us three. And then innings pitch will give us two so we're gonna work on some of these as well so that we can get these stars while also completing something else we're gonna try again to make this as easy as possible to grind as many things at once and the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna take the team that we've assembled here okay we have our starter team it's looking okay got a couple golds here we got Ed, uh, escobar seager alvarez uh you know got some okay swings here it's not great but it's not bad and we're gonna take that team into conquest now, Conquest is a single player mode where there's numerous maps and you're able to take over the board, knock out the strongholds, which are the tiles with the team's logo on there. They're three inning games, quick, easy, and you they usually hide a good amount of packs, stubs, XP, all of that in the map. As you can see, we already have a couple Conquest maps here. We got Batter Up 1, which is going to be super simple. It looks like there's no strongholds at all on it, actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to take over the tiles here, and we're going to use all of our movement spaces. As you can see, we get 25 XP for just hitting that tile, conquering 13 territories by moving to any open hex in the attack phase. So you're going to notice I have no more places to move. The game is also going to explain it to you, but like, oh, we don't need all that. We're going to reinforce on our on our end spot because we want to keep moving. So we're going to end up putting more right there. We got five people there. We're going to move. We're going to skip move phase and we're going to go straight to attack and we're going to quick sim. There's no logo on the board. So we're going to quick sim. You don't play the games that you don't see a team's logo. So you saw we just won the sim there. We moved on. Thank God they also fixed the sim time there. We're going to skip the move phase uh, again. We're gonna, I'm sorry, we're reinforce phase. We're gonna put all of our guys on there right there. Six million now. And then we're gonna skip move phase, go to attack. And we're gonna completely cover this board. And then we're just gonna rinse and repeat. Put more on reinforce, skip move, and then move on down and take over the entire board. Once we do that, we've completed it. We've completed all four goals of the map. We got 50 subs and 75 experience. That was incredibly easy, simple, knock it out. It's completed, get it out of there, get it out of the way. 
Now you're gonna notice there's a batter two conquest as well. This one does have a tile with a team's logo on it. It has the Mariners. That is their stronghold. So we don't have any tiles we can advance with. All of our edge tiles are ones. So we're gonna skip the attack phase. We're gonna skip steel fans Let's unless all of a sudden you have to for this map, which would hurt my feelings. Again, to check a map's goals, you hit Y or triangle and you do have to steal a million fans. I am upset. So we're gonna go ahead and knock that out here. Stealing a million fans means you can play on rookie. I'm gonna play on rookie this time, but usually I always recommend playing on all-star difficulty at least. The reason why is you're gonna be grinding and spending time in this. You don't wanna ruin your timing by playing on the slower difficulties and struggling to get back on it. When you complete it, you wanna go play online or whatever, play on other difficulties. You don't wanna be sitting there being blown away by 90 mile an hour fastballs. But for this symbol one right here, we're gonna click rookie. One million fans is all we have to steal. We're gonna use my boy, Will Crow, because I wanna parallel him. If you don't know, Will Crow's a fan or a, uh, a friend of the stream. So I wanna make sure I'm paralleling him. I had him parallel five last year. And if you think I'm not getting my boy parallel five again, well, you're insane. These are incredibly quick games too. So you don't have to worry about them taking up a lot of time. As you see, my PCI is absolutely monstrous here. So we're gonna try to mash a bomb here and then just honestly bunt it out. You know what I mean? Any kind of hits we get though, will go like right here, a base hit up the middle, Brandon Marsh. That will actually go towards uh, the, the, the starter program we were talking about with Babe Ruth. So we're just knocking stuff out here. Now we also need to get player XP. So honestly, Brandon Marsh is pretty fast. I'm gonna send him here, I don't really care. If I get a stolen base, we're gonna get player experience points. So slow pitch right there and we get the stolen base. Now he's in running uh, in scoring position, so we're good. And Minette's on the right side, that'll move the runner over. We don't care, that's fine. All day, every day. And all we gotta do is get a sack fly and then pitch through this and then the three inning game will be super done, super easy. And we can move on. On the ground, I mean, they got that, listen. We're just trying to get through it. That was a horrible swing. We don't ever talk about it. Keep your mouth shut. YouTube comment section looking at you. But we have our run here. And honestly, if you really want to, you can bunt it out. Usually what I'll do is I'll just swing. And if we hit it, cool. If it's an out, cool. I'm going to run till I'm out anyway. That way I get the player experience points for my cards. But I also just keep the game going. Pop it up to the catcher there. It doesn't even matter. We're done. Let's move on. Go pitch. All right, we got my boy Will Crow out there. We're gonna get him some 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 stuff right here. Five punch outs would actually get me two stars on that beginner program. So if we can kind of try to work these punch outs here, we can uh, we can really advance and, and and build our starter program. Will Crow versus Kyle Lewis. Here we go. The pitch, fastball. He takes it. Son of a bitch. There we go. Easy. There we go. Punch out. That's huge. We're getting player experience points. The strikeout goes towards the starter program and we're completing conquests. We're just killing a lot of birds with one stone. Call us Randy Johnson. You see, you see what I did? Boo. Okay. All right. And there's another punch out. Let's go. Two punch outs for Will. Love it. All right. Jesse Winker's just mad dangerous. Honestly, he's, this is not the matchup for me here, but we're just going to keep chugging. The other thing with conquest here is we get this out. You always want to be trying to practice to get better. That's why we usually play on all-star difficulty at the minimum because events BR always will minimum be all-star. A lot of you guys have been asking me what my settings are for pitching. Why don't I use meter? Why don't I use pure analog? Using pinpoint pitching is the best pitching form in the game. You, If you use pinpoint, you will be a better pitcher. You might be struggling at it, but Conquest, again, these are games against the CPU. It does not matter. It is a great time to work on approach and work on different kind of mechanics to, to get better at the game. It does not matter. If you lose a Conquest game, it's not the end of the world. Who cares? It's the CPU, and you can practice your skills on pinpoint pitching. Eduardo, that's a fly out. It's fine, though. We got a good piece of it. Any kind of hits, we're just looking to pad the starter stats. Jason Castro flies out. That's fine. We're moving the game along. Does not matter. All right. One ball. Mitch Hanniger. Here we go. Got to strike him out. He's going to ground out. Oh, dude. He might beat that out. Will. Got to make a play. Come on, pal. Got him. Nailed it. Honestly, beautiful. Holy crap. All right. 2-2 two, two right here. Slider. Swing and a miss. Another punch out for Will. Love it. We're building the player XP. I'm a big fan. All righty. 0-2 oh, right here. Slider. Get him to whiff. Thank you. Another punch out. We take it all day. We're making the Mariners look absolutely atrocious. There we go. Corey Seager base hit. And because I, I, I'm going to let him stay at first. I was going to send him to second. That way we could just get out. 
and keep the game going but why not we can keep it going i'm gonna let will crow hit for himself he should have some hitting stats <gasps> they have done him dirty my man hits we're just gonna use him here if he gets a hit we get more player experience points if he doesn't who cares we get out we keep it going oh my god will did you get a hit no he hit it too well that's unfortunate Brandon Marsh down the line. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be an extra base hit. We needed one of those as well. I think we need actually two for the starter program to get the Babe Ruth, so that's huge. We're making progress. Andres Jimenez right here, dude. Mets legend. I'm gonna smack the piss out of it. Another double, who's with me? Oh my God, it's actually a hit though. Okay, okay. I'm shocked. Runners on the corners got an RBI. Just keep it going. Keep it, give me all that sweet XP. Oh my God, it's my boy Sergio Romo, which means I have to destroy him. Let's do this, we're going deep. You're Don Alvarez. Okay, so I might not have destroyed him, but I got to run. Glass half full. Up the middle, Zimmerman, 84 speed. I'm gonna send him, I'm gonna send him. Give me an RBI, give me my player experience. Yes, let's go baby, keep it going. Hernandez on the ground. That'll be the last out. That's fine, though. We got some runs. We got an extra base hit. Got some hits. Building it up. Keeping it going. Whenever you're doing this, though, I know I'm using Will Crow. Obviously, I'm doing it because, like, it's that, that's my boy. But you should be using whatever players are on your team that you think you might be keeping for a minute because you can be building parallel experience to make them better. You parallel a card, you get plus one. Parallel it five times. That's plus five attributes across the board, making a okay card a much better card and there's five strikeouts for will crow so i'm pretty sure that the strikeout uh mission for that starter program was strikeouts or five strikeouts so i think we're good on that i'll take another though yeah all right right here chase me curveball low and in just whiff thank you good night what is that was that seven punch outs for will crow my king he might be parallel one. I don't remember how much XP I need, but that, that felt pretty good. It also gets the W, so there we go. Working it, building our players. I like it. We also got a bat skin, and we also got a show pack just by doing the steel mission there. So we there is incentive. And since we completed that, we get 50 stubs and 50 XP. And now we can just keep moving on until we get to the stronghold here. So we're gonna reinforce. I'm going straight for the gut. We're gonna just skip to the attack phase and fill up this board really quick you're gonna notice they move too but like we don't care about them reinforce put all the guys on there five yes please attack and then keep on moving okay so we completed goal two by acquiring 45 million fans because we're just we just keep putting people on there so skip move phase attack 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 load up the reinforcements there and then now we're going to most likely we better not lose this sim i swear remember you do not play the ones where there is no logo of the team on the tile so it just says a one we're just trying to take their tile and move on so one one yep thank you and then if we were to take our two fans and go after their stronghold we would have to play on hall of fame that kind of feels like a pain in the butt right now for me so we're just going to go ahead and skip to steal and then skip to reinforce load up on some reinforcements i'm gonna put some right here at the end so i have six and then i'm gonna put the rest over here so i can start taking these tiles as well and i'm gonna go ahead and start moving down here they're attacking me right now they don't have anything on their base i think honestly if i click it right now it'll say i could play it on on all-star so move our tiles there once we can't move anymore go after the mariners we're gonna play this one on all-star should be a easy dub and it's just gonna be a three inning game again i'm gonna go with will crow because i want to parallel him i want to get that xp and we're jumping back in against Marco Gonzalez. For some reason, I'm going to watch this chick throw a first pitch. Yay. Way to go, Sandra. You did awesome. I think that's new. I don't remember that being in here. There we go. Brandon Marsh. Another base hit. Yo, Brandon Marsh has actually been a phenomenal little free bronze for me. Has enough speed. Covers the, uh, the outfield pretty well. And he's, I think that's his third hit. I'm wondering if I can steal again. This might be stupid. They might pick me off. I'm, I'm playing an all-star now, so I assume they're going to watch it more. I'm just going to hit and run. That was beautiful. It was right down the middle, and I'm going to move my happy butt to third, and that'll be runners on the corners. Let's go. I have three lefties starting my lineup, by the way. Definitely did not mean to do that. 
Jordan Alvarez hit my absolute moonshot tater. Don't look at the PC. <laughs> it gets the CPU. It doesn't matter. They can't get mad. There, there's the one home run we needed for the starter program. So, I mean, put it on the board. <laughs> yes. Baby, like, let's go. There's a double from Zimmerman. That should be... I think I only needed two extra base hits. So that should be two. We had one last game of Marsh. So we should have two now, which I think is all I needed. And then we're going to pop it up. That's fine. Move the game. That's all good, baby. All right. We'll never talk about that swing ever again. Escobar, boom. Home run. More player experience points. And again, we're just swinging. If it's an out, it's an out. If it's a moonshot, it's a moonshot. And honestly, again, playing these games on All-Star is better for you in the long run than playing them on Rookie. Because if you like to play BR, you want to build a team and see how you can do, that's always going to be on All-Star. The event, sometimes it's BR, sometimes it's Hall of Fame. So we need to get you prepared for at least All-Star speeds. If you want to be even a little bit above, you can play on Hall of Fame. That way you can get used to that. That's a pretty good idea too. Or if you're a psycho, you can play it on Legend. And I mean psycho. Seager on the ground. That should be the third out. Let's go. Okay, now we just got to pitch. Oh my God, I'm safe. All right, Will Crow, he's going to hit. He's going to get a, a moonshot here. I'm feeling it. Pitcher home run. Okay. I mean, it's a home run in our hearts. All right, here we go. One, two count. Will Crow, can he get the punchy? Let's go. He chases another punch out for Will. My king, my captain. Let's go. Oh, yes, dude. Easy ground ball. Quick. Keeping the game going. Love to see it, Will. Okay, that was a dot. Like, that was honestly breathtaking. And I, we, I'm going to appreciate it. All right. Will Crow's out here painting. Absolute paint. I'm a huge fan. Right here. Punchy? No. Maybe we can just drop a change up right there. Get it over. Oh, that's down the middle. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Curveball? Jesse Winker. Chase me. Be that guy. Yes, another punch out. The greatest bronze outfielder apparently in the game, Brandon Marsh. He's finally going to be out, I guess. I'm upset. The streak ends. What was it? Three for three. It's all over. Jimenez right at him. Oh, goodness. All right. I mean, we got a good cut on it. And then you're done. Will that sit? Is that another hit? It is. Let's go. We should have completed, I want to say, all of the offensive missions for that for the babe ruth program i think we'll check it after this but i'm pretty sure i mean that's just absolutely hammered oh my god ryan zimmerman i think i'm pretty sure ryan zimmerman retired but like he destroys lefties not a bad bronze card to have and i know a lot of you guys usually want to know what hitting camera i use i am using strike zone two a lot of guys will tell you strike zone one for me i don't know what it is i'm too close i don't know if i'm not covering enough ground with my pci strike zone two just feels more at home for me and then i use uh cyan for the color and you're going to notice you'll as you keep watching my videos hopefully lol subscribed i mean right now yes you you're going to notice that occasionally i'll change my pci from time to time sometimes if i feel like i'm i'm over swinging at everything chasing at all the pitches i'll switch to just the dots in the middle just diamonds and nothing else on sometimes when i feel like i have a little bit better accuracy and i can kind of kind of use the bigger pci to feel a little bit better then i'll go with wedge for my inner and diamonds for the middle it just kind of depends how i'm feeling it's all personal preference go through the settings and see what kind of pci you like it's all personal preference let's go easy flip it over to first one away Ty france can you chase the curveball for me please i would greatly appreciate it oh we touched it what we're gonna get the out though okay two away oh baby i love the reach right here oh two see if we can get another punch out for good old will crow Oh, right down the middle, didn't even swing. All right, yo, <laughs> thank you. All right, 2-2, two, two. Escobar right down the... Oh, I'm so early. If I'm going to have a bad swing, just let me be out so we can move on or let me hit it. That's kind of where we're at. We're going to start just running once we hit. Just later, I, I went. Get me out of there. Thank you. Bye. Wah! Castro, we're swinging. We're just swinging. Get me out. That's fine. Keep it moving. Yo, Seager, they were just swinging, and we're going to get a free home run. Yep, thank you. Yep, uh, yep, mm -hmm, yep. All right, Will Crow getting a hit. I feel it right now. Right now. Sit, ball. 
I'll tell you what, Will Crow has aggressively lined out, honestly, impressively, every single time. Every time. And there we go. First pitch swinging. Love to see that. That's going to be an easy out. Two more outs is all we need. And then we have finished batter two conquest. Well, almost. We have to get a couple more tiles, but we're pretty dang close. The game is trying to tell me that Will Crow's tired. But honestly, listen, we're just saying that Will Crow said no. He said, don't take me out. This is my thing to finish right here. I want it. Yeah, swing at that. Thank you. Right down the middle. Sit down, son. Four punchies for Will. Love to see it. If he's not parallel one by the end of this game, I'm suing. All right, chase the curveball. You can see since Will Crow is tired and out of energy, the par, when I click the pitch, like look at his curveball right here. You see that giant circle? If I get a perfect accuracy, it can go anywhere in that giant circle since he's absolutely gassed. There we go. Last out and we're done. We get the dub and I'm going to check that program because I'm pretty sure we made great progress. So we have got a flashback and legend gold pack from our featured program. That means we're making progress in the featured team affinity program. So that's good. And then we also got another show pack for winning. We've completed three of four goals. Now all we have to do with the reinforcements is finish uh, taking over this map right here, which we can do literally right now. 12 we're just gonna move uh you know what honestly i might have to take another turn because i'm gonna have to i can't i can't i can't finagle it yep yep i'm stupid we gotta we gotta put a reinforcement right here boom and then just send it and yes okay so we have completely conquered this map we are awesome completed you see it down here and now if we go over here real quick to the programs and we go to the other program again we were looking at starter babe ruth because we want to get that xp you see we have 14 stars up there in the corner because if you come to the mission tab we have completed the tally uh 500 player x uh, uh per parallel xp so we got that we got two stars there we've uh, completed the five hits completed the extra base hits completed the home run the strikeouts and the innings pitch all within knocking those out and and moving along in our conquests to to get more free stuff we can also get two stars by playing one mini seasons game. We're going to take a look at mini seasons in another video because I think mini seasons is amazing, especially for all you offline grinders. I know some of you guys just like collecting cards and not playing online. Mini seasons is amazing. And so now we're even closer to that 40 stars we need. I also noticed there are some collections here. Honestly, I feel like we could add a couple of these stadiums here for very, very cheap. We could buy them out for 115 but since we're really penny pinching our stubs and then we're not necessarily in a hurry it's not we can wait a minute i'm gonna put a buy order in for it i'm gonna put 15 stubs and we're gonna put that there say i will buy it for 15 so if somebody pulls laughing mountain and they want to quick sell it we will get it for 15 and i don't know we'll do uh we'll do we'll do this one too why not this one's 45 stubs i'm not gonna nickel and dime over 45 stubs bam there we go got that one and so we'll come back later. And once we do, like, as you can see, we already have four out of five. Once somebody sells us Laughing Mountain, we will have five of five. We can lock those stadiums in. We'll get 250 stubs back and we can get the stars from this. Okay, so actually, as you see in the corner, somebody just actually sold it to me. So we can go in there, lock that in. We get the stars for that. And we've completed that first tier of the starter program. Baskins, you only have to have one. We got the hot dog already. Lock it in. We're also going to get 100 stubs and a show pack for that. Unlockables, we're not as close. We have two out of five. We're going to go ahead and lock these in. And then honestly, I don't know what these are going for on the market. See, they're going for a little bit more. We'll wait till we unlock more of those to come back and do that part. Equipment, probably the same thing. A lot of people are probably buying it for the road to the show character. We have three out of five already. So we'll lock those in. And then we'll see if there's anything, anything really cheap. This is 66 buy now. You know what, dude? 70 stubs. Put that in there. Finalize. If somebody wants to sell it for 70, we're all in. And then we'll buy, uh, what is this? 72 stubs. You know what? 75. If somebody wants to sell it, we will take it. There we go. And it seems like somebody already sold us the bat. So we're at four to five. So we're very close on that. We just got to wait for somebody to quick sell. But we'll get those as well. Now, keep in mind, collection is not exchanging. You still have these items. You just can't sell them. But as you can see, they're not worth a ton of stubs. Somebody sold me the other equipment piece I was looking for. And so we've nailed that as well. So we'll get those stars as well. So we've completed stadiums. We've completed equipment. Unlockables, we're going to wait till we earn some more because those are just a little bit pricey. And then Baskins, we've also completed. And now we're sitting 
at 23 stars out of the 40 we need we could do the moments and get another 15 and we'd be even closer so we're working on that and we want more free packs we're going to do something here i'm going to show you it's going to be a bit of a grind but it's going to be worth it we're going to come back to this conquest menu and if you notice down here there is a nation of baseball the u.s conquest map is usually chock full of goodies there's packs there's numerous rewards as you can see right here you're gonna you have to acquire 50 million fans 100 you're gonna get 500 xp and stubs every time you do one of these missions right so 100 territories will get you another and you get a silver uh curtis granderson that you can add to your team grand he always has a nice swing too um when you complete the nl west you will get a gold choice pack you get a gold prospect pack and this will be from the nl west so you'll be able to pick one of the five prospects from the nl west to add to your team those are golds and again we're building up collection stuff so prospect stuff all the good stuff same thing for when you knock out the central you'll get a gold pack for that 500 stubs nl east every division you'll get one of those packs there's also an 84 jared weaver by just continuing to take over the map it looks like this so there's another gold starter and he was a new legend he is a sinker so that'll be interesting as you keep going there will also be another diamond you can unlock we can get diamond carry wood a reliever to put in our bullpen that has a cutter and a 96 mile an hour fastball and honestly looks solid for our starting team are super duper early. So all we have to do is capture all the National League strongholds in this map. We're also gonna be able to capture all of the American League strongholds and we will get 86 overall DD Gregorius. That's a diamond shortstop. The defense looks really, really good. His speed is at a 69. Nice. The bat looks solid enough against righty. So honestly, free diamond. Again, it's gonna be part of the veteran program. So we're collecting all those cards. Once you complete all the map, you take over all of it, you will get Mike Piazza, 88 overall catcher, 88 and 82 power, 73, 77 contact. The defense is solid enough. That's a pretty nice free card, especially if you do this early. It's not only those rewards you get though. In, all, in a lot of these tiles here on this map, there are hidden goodies. Sometimes you'll take over a tile and it'll be like, hey, here's 200 stubs or 500 or something. Sometimes when you click it, you'll get a five pack of show packs sometimes you'll get a ball and as a habit maybe a headliner they hide goodies in packs free packs in these maps so for us no money spent people super worth grinding and and taking all of these uh all these rewards for itself i'm this is going to be a bit of a grind though i mean it is you got to play all of these teams three inning games got to beat them all so it's going to be a little bit of a grind i'm actually be grinding this on my twitch channel if you're watching this right now i'm probably live already over there right this second doing it so if you want to come and say hello on twitch that links in the description below or if you like watching my old streams i have a vod channel where you can also do that that is in the uh description as well but it's just like the other conquests you're going to start by trying to take over the area we're gonna do this i'm gonna, again i'm going to do most of this grinding on twitch but i will show you all of the packs that i get from this map in a video and i'll show you it completing it again to just kind of show you what, what all it does for no money spent but we're making great progress not only collecting free packs free xp free stubs parallel experience but we're completing numerous programs we're doing the conquest. We're doing a bunch of grinding and we're all knocking it out at once. Again, whenever you do conquest, you want to come over and look at any program that they have and take a look at the gameplay or So whenever you're doing these, you want to come over here and look at the program real quick and make sure there's no moments that you could double up on. Kind of how we were like, okay, we need extra base hits and strikeouts for the starter program. Usually there's stuff for you to do here. Now they're going to keep adding to this. All the stuff you see for this feature program is not the only stuff you'll see for the amount of time in the third the 27 days that this program exists they'll add more stuff as they go but for right now the week one legend flashback pack looks like there is a mission that you can do that you can knock out as you can see in rank seasons battle royale events play for cpu mini seasons or conquest and you can get 500 experience as you see above my head by completing these missions we just got one of those packs so if we go over to packs we have our four show packs we've unlocked and we have two of the flashback legend packs so we're going to open our show packs first just to get those out of the way see what we have here maybe we hit a diamond that'd be sick we got big cock jock that's exciting that's a nice bronze to get i mean the dude hits right he's pretty dang hard i like jock swing three show packs left let's see what else we get real quick uh we get a silver austin adams that'll be nice to add to our bullpen as well get another silver big fan of that we're also trying to collect the uh the the, the live series collection stuff so we'll take anything and everything 
Yu Chang and Alberto Balo, 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 Donato. Yep, I didn't butcher that at all. We also got a stadium there, so you didn't actually have to buy a stadium. If you think about it, you could have just opened these packs and maybe gotten it. There's an unlockable. There's a jersey. We could keep that or sell that for 500 if we want. Zach Britton's a nice lefty to add to our bullpen. So those four show packs and then the flashback gold packs, these are the cards that those missions are on. So I'm going to take 81 overall Mo because why would you not? Adds a nice little piece to our bullpen. He's got the cutter and the fastball slider. So we'll do that and we'll we'll put him in our lineup specifically so that we can try to knock out these missions. Harmon Killebrew is a ginormous power bat. So we're going to jump out and grab him right off the rip as well. Oh my gosh, you get three in this one. Holy crap, that's amazing. And then we're also going to take, why not Jim Edmonds? You know what? Let's live a little and take Jim Edmonds. Yeah, we'll do that. So we get three free golds right there that we can add to our lineup. And these guys have missions that'll get us more program experience for the feature program. I have another one of these packs here. So I'm gonna take, make sure you take people you don't have, obviously. So we'll throw Aaron Sanchez out there because we can have him pitch a game and gain, and gain XP. And then we'll also take, take Paul Kinnerk. Why not? breakout yeah why not dude and then honestly chris davis is another insane bra or a gold card to have right there he has 109 pop first righties and a 95 versus lefties pretty nasty offensive card right there so we're going to take him too and so we have those three as well so unfortunately we're going to pull brandon marsh we're going to put jim edmonds up there we're going to put Harmon killebrew in and we're going to stick him at third which means we're going to put escobar at second we're going to put Paul out there instead of Ryan Zimmerman. We're going to upgrade our Chris Davis there, and we're going to stick him out there instead of Hernandez. And we're going to upgrade our bench too. We're going to put the Brandon Nimmo we got. We got Turner out there. Zimmerman, Mercedes could come off for the uh, David the Freight Chain uh, Peralta if we'd like. Jock Peterson, we could get him in there too. And so we got all those guys in there. And then we're going to come over here real quick. We're going to pull Nate Pearson and put that Aaron Sanchez in so we can do his stuff. And then we're also going to pull Ryan Thompson and put Mo in so that we can do his missions as well. So now, not only have we upgraded our team, I mean, our entire offense minus our catcher is a gold card. We've also added more pitching. We have another gold in our bullpen. That's exciting. We add another gold starter to our rotation. And we have cards that we can be grinding the conquest, getting the free packs while also completing their missions uh, to gain more XP. For instance, all you got to do is get 350 parallel experience with Paul Konerko. Throw him in there and let's grind that dang conquest and get that going. Edmonds, you got to get 350. It looks like all of the hitters you got to get 350 experience points with and that's honestly just getting a single a double triple stolen base rbi plate appearance stuff like that you just you just using the card and it looks like the pitchers you have 500 i don't know what mo's is let me see if i can find there it is mo you got to get 500 too so 500 parallel experience with him and again if you ever want to know exactly how to do it you can go back to your squad screen Pick the card to see what you want to for parallel, right? For, for instance, we have 114 parallel experience with your Don Alvarez, and you can see the table right there on what get what parallel experience you're given per achievement. So you get five for a single, 10 for a double, 20 for a triple, 20 for a homer. You get five for a run, five for an RBI, five for stolen base, five for a walk, and 10 for a plate appearance. So that's how you get play uh, player experience. And of course, this bar up here, right here, where my head is kind of covering part of it, will show you your, your progress to the parallels. Each tier you hit, you will get plus one stats across the board for the player. So that's what I would start tackling if I were you. I'm going to make progress on this by completing some of these missions and going to grind the US Conquest on Twitch. So if you want to, you can come say hello to me there. But let me know how it's going. For you, make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you've packed. Let me know how you're feeling. If you're no money spin, if your money spin, it doesn't matter. We all love baseball. Let me know how your experience is going with NBA Show 22. I love reading the comments. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it because it helps me a ton and it lets me know you liked it. And then of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, all that stuff. My links are in the description. I appreciate you guys and I hope you have a fantastically amazing day. Peace.